At Carnegie Mellon's Robotics Institute, we have made substantial progress in 3D computer vision, and we are working on its new applications. We have built a video rate stereo machine that can produce a complete dense depth map of a scene at 30 frames per second, aligned with intensity images, probably the first of its kind. A five camera stereo head is used to image a scene. This is the intensity image. The machine processes multiple image data from five cameras based on the multi-baseline stereo theory and computes depth for each pixel. We can observe the video rate operation. The capability of obtaining dense 3D distance and shape information at video rate opens up a new class of applications. One of them is what we named Z-Key, a new technique for merging real and virtual images. Chroma Key is a standard technique for image superimposition, such as a TV reporter in front of a weather map. Unlike the Chroma Key that uses blue color as the key to switch between the real and virtual scenes, the Z-Key compares depth information from the stereo machine and the Z-buffer from the graphics system for switching. As a result, a real person can be between the two virtual lamps or partially in front of and behind the virtual object. We can also have the virtual object interact with the real object consistently. Here, the virtual lamp is casting a shadow on the person with the correct shape as he moves. Note the person is also casting a shadow onto the virtual wall. The Virtualized Reality Studio Dome is fully covered by many cameras from all directions. The range or depth of every point in an image was computed using the same multi-baseline stereo algorithm used in the video rate stereo machine. The scene can be reconstructed with the depth and intensity information by placing a virtual or soft camera from the front, from the left, from the right, or from the top, or moving the soft camera as the user moves freely. For this baseball scene, we can create a ball's eye view. Virtualized reality has great significance in training, telepresence, and entertainment in that it would enable users to interact with real event or performance from dynamically selected viewpoints.